Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here once again bringing you a bite-sized breakdown. This time we're taking a look at an A execute from, you guessed it, OG Esports versus Team Vitality. This is again their semi-final at ESL Pro League. I just wanted to use this round basically as a quick example of how a really simple strat executed well can overcome a team even when you're on a weak buy. Um, as you can see, OG Esports are on a half buy here. They have one Galil, they have a couple of Tech Nines, they even have Mantu who's on a Deagle no armor. So they've not got a lot to work with here. They've got a few grenades, however, and they set up a very simple A hit, which is executed well in a couple of key areas. And I'm going to highlight those for you. So the first thing I want to highlight is the fact that it is very early in the round. We're only at 1 minute 40 here, and OG are all in on this A execute. Now, because they're on a half buy, I appreciate this approach because it doesn't give the CTs any time to push elsewhere on the map and get information. I've said this before and I'll say it again. You need to create an imbalance somewhere on the map when you're on these half buy rounds. And the way OG do this is they say, right, let's give them no time to push, find info and stack a site or make rotations to make this hold easier. Let's just get out there, face the two, maybe three that we're going to be facing on A. And let's just try and take that imbalance of numbers, that 5v3, that 5v2. And let's just see what we can do with it. Now, the first thing I want to highlight is the coordination of the hit, specifically the timing. Now, let's just take a quick look here. As you can see, Alexi B and Mantu have literally just thrown their grenades. And the second that they throw their grenades, Flames and Valda are already right up close to ramp, ready to make this. <laughs> Basically, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make sure Vitality don't have time once they see these grenades getting thrown to kind of set up in a hold, maybe throw counter flashes, throw counter grenades. They want to get up in Vitality's face as these grenades are landing, which, as you can see, they do. Flames is going to throw this flash out. Now, I like the flash from Flames here because it makes it difficult if anyone is playing close to ramp for them to be traded. Yes, the flash is going to explode behind Kyojin's head and it's not going to blind him, but it is going to blind all of his mates on the site if they're staring at him, staring at his back, trying to trade him. So I like that flash from Flames. <laughs> now, I feel bad for Kyojin there because he just gets flying Tech 9. Like, there's nothing he can do. The one potential criticism is maybe you can say Vitality should probably have a better idea of OG's eco here and realize that they're either going to be on a save or a half buy and that maybe playing quite so close to A ramp isn't the smartest thing to do when they've got pistols. You're just leveling the playing field for OG Esports there. They want you to be up close and personal, whereas a more passive hold, maybe, maybe that's a better idea on a round like this. Now, as we're going to see here, Flames is immediately traded and a Molotov lands on A ramp. <laughs> As you can see, now Flames has done his job perfectly there. He's gotten the entry and he's created some space for his teammates and he is making the A heights. And he makes the A site sweat because they've lost a defender. Now, what you've got to see here is Nico and Palace. This is a really, really excellent play from Nico and Palace to take a gamble and swing out with no grenades, no anything, just utilizing a timing. Flames has just died on A ramp and a Molly has also just landed on A ramp. If you take those two pieces of information and the fact that you've just killed a defender, it's very unlikely that there's any more than three players on A site and you've just accounted for all of them. One of them's just died on ramp, one of them's just thrown a molly, and one of them has just orped your teammate. Nico utilizes that information to say, hey, there's a really good chance that nobody's looking at Palace, that nobody is ready for this swing, and he gets his rewards for that play. He swings out, kills Apex cleanly, turns this into a four on three and gives OG every single chance to win this round. Now, as you can see, OG have had to slow the hit down because of the Molotov, but Alexi B is gonna lob a flash over a ramp and out they come. Now, I like this spacing from Mantu and Valda to be on each other's backs. Alexi B isn't far behind either. I like the nice tight spacing here from OG because it gives them every single chance to refrag if anybody's playing close. Um, and it also makes it difficult for Ziwu. He's gonna feel flustered if he swings out for a peek and there's like three people in his crosshair. Now, this is still a tough round for OG to win. It's going to be difficult to dislodge that AWP in CT. They've got to cross a lot of ground to get anywhere near him. So instead of trying to focus on CT, they focus on this jungle and connector area. It's a lot easier for them to get to it without exposing too much to the AWP in CT. And they need to take some control here. They can't just sit on the site and plant. It's going to be a very easy retake for Vitality or a much easier retake if they don't have any further control of the site. So basically they need to either take control of this area or take control of CT. 
CT is going to be difficult to run down with the AWP, so instead they focus on jungle and connector. And we can see how they go about this. Nico's just thrown a smoke from Palace into connector. That's going to isolate anybody who's playing on stairs, playing towards jungle. And Mansion and Alexi B off the back of a couple of flashes, get in there and they mow Misuta down. Now, I really like it from OG. It's very decisive. It's good spacing. An entry pair went in there with Valda playing a little bit further back to watch for any funny business from CT. Maybe somebody peeks late from jungle. I just really like the spacing, the decisiveness, and the overall pace of the hit from OG. I think they've given themselves every single chance to win this half by here, and Vitality haven't done much wrong except for maybe play Kyojin a little bit too close to a ramp. Now, there isn't too much to analyze from this post plant. Um, in a 2v4, Shox and Ziwu have it all to do here, and they're trying to retake with double AWP, so this was never really on in the first place. Valda gets a nice spam onto Ziwu here. Valda is utilizing the right eye advantage in this situation. From the angle where he is in Sandwich, he has the right eye advantage over Ziwu, so he sees Ziwu before Ziwu sees him. Spray Ziwu down to 8 HP. The round is pretty much over at this point, but Vitality go for the retake anyway. Um, I've got to be perfectly honest here, I would have liked to see Vitality save the double orbs in this scenario. I wonder if they're not sure how far anybody's infiltrated into jungle, and so therefore they think maybe they're stuck in CT and they're not going to get to save anyway. I'm not too sure, but I think saving the double orbs, or attempting to save the double orbs, was probably the correct play here. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, you know the drill, like, comment, favourite, subscribe, tell your grandma about me, because who would not want their gran to be watching this? Oh yeah, obviously, and if you don't like it, stop watching. Self-explanatory. See you later guys.